Oh my gosh, that's intense. The stars have aligned and I get to upload on my actual birthday. So if you're watching this on the, on the day that this uploads, it's my birthday. And not only that, but we also have another celebration that I meant to celebrate earlier this year, um, but the fire got in the way. And that is that this year marks the 10th, 10th year of Rachel's life, which is pretty crazy because like we started basically when I was pregnant with Julia. <laughs> yeah. Let that sink in for a minute because I haven't. And so I'm not gonna get sappy here, but thank you for 10 incredible years on this channel. I think that's, um, that's crazy. And so to celebrate the 10 year and also my birthday, I wanted to do a, a little gift, a gift for you, do a little giveaway. And I thought what I've always wanted to do is do a giveaway where you guys can have some of the appliances and things that we use a lot in our kitchen. And so I wanna do a giveaway and I will put all the information, details, everything outlined down below, but do a giveaway so that you can win your very own Francesca or air fryer or whatever. And so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. If you've been watching for a while, you haven't clicked the subscribe button, now's a great time to do so. So for today's video, I thought it was only right to do like a celebratory, like, like a cake. We should do something cake related. And I decided to really challenge myself and do something I have never done before. And that is miniature baking. If you are new to this world of miniature baking, welcome, because apparently once you start, you can't stop. So excited for that. And also fun fact, there are no recipes. So we're just going to be eyeballing it and we are going to make a cake, but tiny. Tiny cake. And I mean, now I have all the stuff. So if you want to see more of these videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. But I want to show you what I got because I went a little bit overboard when I, when I was buying these things, I spent too much money and I got myself a little kitchen, just a small one. So first of all, we have our floor. A floor is important. And then on top of that, I got a working kitchen. This legitimately will bake a cake, apparently. Can we just appreciate the amount of detail that went into this thing? Like this is a working light. It has a working light. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking everything. It's not, it's just the stove cover thing I've learned, but it has like little working drawers that you can put your stuff into. <laughs> and then the oven that will literally cook things. Okay, this by the way is a cord for a light. Worth noting that the cord was cut and sort of frayed a little bit somehow. So the light doesn't actually work, but that's okay because we don't need that. So this so far is my kitchen. Then all the accoutrements to actually do the baking. Starting with the cutlery, like look how small it is. I kind of want cutlery like this for, for myself. Like the gold with the black handle, are you kidding me? It's so aesthetic. Put it into the drawer. Oh my gosh, so many memories unlocked in like Barbie days. Then this is another thing that I got. I got, I got a bunch of tools for, for cooking. I don't know if any of them will be helpful in our journey to make a cake today, but uh, that's that's what we're gonna find out. Like, look how tiny those are. It's like the perfect size for baking. We're gonna keep those out on the counter, which by the way, pretty sure this is some sort of like actual stone. Then of course the pan. We need a pan to bake our cake in. So I got this one. By the way, I got these from Real Mini World, in case you want to also participate in this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. It's a little heart pan. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, Rachel, settle down. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, and then of course there's like all the little mini boxes which have nothing in it. I just wanna be very clear. They're just for decoration. But like a little funfetti. There were a couple. There were a couple here. Oh, there, there. And then again, this is a working um, oven. So I'm gonna put the cake in here. We're literally gonna bake it. The other thing that is working is this thing which is my own mini stand mixer. Oh, <gasps> Frances got a baby, love this. So I got the red one, which doesn't match with anything. I just got really excited. It's very small, comes apart like that. And you may be asking, okay, but like Rachel, how, how does this work though? So apparently, we'll put our little bowl here, slide this on, and then we're gonna take this, we're gonna plug her in. Well, that's not a good start. Oh no, I've been conned. Oh wait, ah! nope, just my own stupidity. So you put the stuff in here and then 
Oh my gosh, that's intense. Wow, that's gonna whisk things quick time. Okay. Then just for decoration, I stole things from my daughter. Actually, technically, technically, this is from when I had Barbies as a kid. This bowl right here, I used this. I came across it in all the Barbie stuff and I was like, maybe I need another bowl. I don't know. <gasps> it kind of goes together with this too. Good for me, it's like I planned it. Then I like saved a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not even joking, I literally took them from Julia. So she got her very first like Barbie kind of house thing and I got her a little tea set to go with it. And so I gave it to her and then I immediately was like, can I borrow it? She didn't even question it. She's like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I thought those would like look nice. I, maybe I can serve the cake on it, maybe, I don't know. Then we have like little like milk dishes for pouring in the, the milk, you know? Maybe I'll make a little cup of tea on the side. <laughs> and then I have a little cake stand here, which is a wee bit wobbly. Maybe we can put the, the cake on top of that. Oh, it's a little bit big for it. I'm sure it's fine. Then what else did I take? I took a uh, pretend knife, a little plastic one, and then this random spoon. I was like, again, maybe I can make use of that. So I think I have everything and I've stalled long enough because I'm very nervous. Also, my curls are like very curling today. I did like heatless overnight curls and um, they have not fallen yet, but it's fine. So now, I don't have a recipe to follow, so I'm just gonna be baking from the heart, but also kind of from a recipe. I'm just gonna pull up just like a cake recipe, just so I can like eyeball amounts, you know? And um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. This is gonna be so good, everyone. Ah! All right, the recipe I'm using today is from all recipes. Seems like people like it. Okay, let's get out the ingredients, shall we? We need sugar. Flour, baking powder, cocoa, a little vanille. And like we are taking the barest of bare minimum of all of these ingredients is my understanding. Okay, we're gonna start with very, we want very even amounts of all of the um, dry ingredients. So I'm going to take my little mini spoon here and just, just put it in like that. This cake is gonna be better than any cake I've ever made, for sure. Let's start with that. Do I have another spoon? Of course I do, I have it in a drawer. You know what I should have done? Hang on. What if I went really old school and I just measured it by cups? That's the way to do it. Oh my gosh, I've beat the system, everyone. One and three quarter cup. That doesn't feel like enough though. Hmm, no, that's not gonna be enough for that pan. Okay, I'm gonna double it. Means we need one and a half of the cocoa powder. Whoever said this is soothing, who are you and why are you lying to me? There we go. Okay, I need three teaspoons each of baking powder and baking soda. I do have a teaspoon. This is gonna end poorly and it's fine. One, two, <laughs> three. Sure. Same over here. One, two, three. How does one make such a big mess with such a small cake? You need two teaspoons of salt. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Just for size. <laughs> Difference between the salt. One, two, a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it's not even like a full pinch of salt. Then we need to mix it together. Childhood Rachel is so pleased right now. Look at that, put that over there on the floor. <laughs> okay, now for the fun stuff. Now we're gonna try this, this mixer thing. So we need two cups of milk and four eggs. Now eggs is gonna be tricky. Like I've seen what they've been doing and they take like tiny little quail eggs and make stuff from that. I don't have that obviously. So I'm just gonna take some of the egg. Just hope for the best. Oh, you're not gonna wanna go in, are, are you? Okay, that's fine. You can use this guy. That's good. I need four cups of sugar. So I'm going to, I see now why they do little, little bowls of it. All the things that I'm learning, making small cakes. I'm honestly really mildly concerned that it's not gonna fill up my, my beautiful cake pan thing. And then I'm gonna have to sit and I'm gonna have to make more or do my fallback plan, which is to make like a box cake. Four cups, one, ah, this one's covered in egg. Try again. Two, three, and four. Two cups of milk and a cup of vegetable oil. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. How does one even measure out this amount? Uh, ah! 
One, two cups. Okay, good, 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 good. Could I do this over the sink? I could. Am I going to? Nope. Now we need a little bit of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Teaspoons. Mmm. Little did I know how many of my small bowls I would use for my small cake making. That way I'm not wasting any, you know? Like, look at this amount. This is crazy. One, two, oh no! <sighs> Almost lost it. Okay, oh, okay, this is the exciting part. Now, I'm gonna put Put this in like this, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's mixing my cake batter. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like that is full on mixed. Now I'm gonna pour this in here. Then I'm probably gonna mix this by hand because I can just, I feel like this is just gonna go everywhere. Let's see how I did in terms of amounts. Does this feel cakey, you know? It does and it doesn't. Like that doesn't feel thick enough. It needs more flour, I think. Sprinkling in amounts until it feels like a batter to me. Look at that, that's definitely a cake mix. However, there is no way that's enough for that. Arr! We need to obviously spray it. I am not getting this cake stuck in this tiny thing. Mostly got my hand, but that's fine. That's not enough. So much for my, you know, baking strategy here. All right, well, technically, I did make the batter. I just didn't make enough of the batter. So now, now, we're gonna try it again. Now that I know what I'm doing, now I'm gonna like measure it less. I'm just gonna put stuff together and we'll just make it one big batter. So, flour first, get in there. You know what, actually before I do this, I need to clean clean this counter up. There, that's better. At least it was an easy cleanup. And I truly went just full on mix stuff together and hope for the best. That's where I went with this. In you go, mixy mix, amazing. Now, I don't have a good place for this stuff, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here for now because I don't think my bowls are gonna be big enough for this. Again, can't tell you with more certainty than I have just gone rogue with this. I am truly now just measuring with my heart and hoping for the best. <laughs> Cocoa powder, you will be important in making it taste normal. I do want this to rise somewhat decently. Oh man, that might be too much. Baking soda, in you go. Mix, 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 mix. I feel like that's not gonna be enough flour for what I have here. Let's find out, shall we? I was right, that is not enough flour. But that's okay, I'm just gonna add some more flour to this and then we'll add it to our pan. Look at that, beautiful. Absolutely the right amounts of every ingredient. That might be just the amount we need to get our cake going. Oh, it's perfect. So now, the fun part. So I have to put my little covers on my stove because there are very specific instructions. Then I put two of these little guys in the bottom. Now we need to light up our oven. So we're gonna put two into the bottom. One, two. And now we can put our little cake in. And now we close it up. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Wow. It's like vented on the side too, and it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna cook a cake. I don't know how long, but I'm just gonna check it aggressively until it's cooked. Cause it's gonna be great, this is gonna be great. It literally set a timer for five minutes cause I had no idea how long this was gonna take, but it's already starting to overflow. They said that this thing would get very hot, so I'm gonna use my little oven mitts here. It's still a working oven. Ah, it is a working oven. However, it's small. There we go. I can use this. I don't know what to do now. At least it's rising. Hey, Christopher. Yeah. Uh, say one was making a cake, and say one's cake is starting to um, fall over the side, but one does not have a tray for it. What does one do? Clean up when it cools down, I guess. Okay. Well, it is rising, so that's exciting. And wait a second. One of my candles went out. Unbelievable. Okay. Another five minutes. <laughs> okay, just to add to the chaos of today's video, um, we lost power because there's like a thunderstorm going on. Don't worry, that hasn't stopped my baking though. Cake, still cooking. And I honestly, I think it's done. By the way, that one candle keeps going out. I just, I don't think there's enough um, circulation in there to keep it lit. So anyway, I'm gonna try and take it out now. 
How are you looking, cake? Like it's getting there, it's still not there though. I think it needs a little bit more time. So I guess we'll give it a little bit more time and see if power returns. I think this is the first ever video where um, despite losing power due to a giant storm, I can still do my baking. Chris and I are just kind of sitting here in the dark and um, you know what? While this cooks, I might as well make a frosting. Nothing better to do, just sitting here waiting for the lights to come back on. So washed this and our bowl. So now I'm gonna get some butter. Ooh, I can use my little knife if I can find it in the dark. Aha, just gonna carve off some butter in there. And then we need some icing sugar or confectioner's sugar or whatever you call it. Oh, that might be too much. It's too much. This is the only time that cooking by candlelight actually comes in handy. Oh my gosh, this is gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna cover it. Can't see what I'm working with here. There we go. Add a little bit of milk. We're scraping the sides. Oh, that's my timer. I gotta check on the cake. How's she doing? Honestly, I'm just trying to figure her out. Oh, I think I have, hold on. I might have some toothpicks. Okay, I don't, but I do have a fork, so we'll see. Okay, so it feels like it's cooked on the bottom but it's not cooked on the top. Again, this is an imperfect system. I'm gonna try the crispy bit on the edge. It tastes like a cake. That's exciting. Keep making my frosting. Needs more icing sugar. Crumble a little bit in. It's doing a pretty good job with this frosting too. Like that's not an easy feat. Like look at that. That is very icing-y. Honestly, delicious. Guess now we have to wait for the cake to finish cooking here. Okay. It's finally, finally, it's done. Ooh, ah. So I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit. <gasps> oh, we got power back. It's exciting, wow. That was excellent timing. Just as I was going to turn off of my oven, the real oven was able to be turned on. Exciting, okay. This is just the most chaotic video. <laughs> So now is a good time to transfer all of my footage. So we're just gonna keep going. But my cake is um, very cooked and very cold. Let's see if I can make it go onto this. Ooh, can I get this off? Maybe. Haha! <gasps> it's so overcooked. Listen to this. It's okay. It's here anyway, I'm still gonna ice it. I'm still gonna ice it. Also, by the way, just for clarity, this is because I overcooked it in, with, the, with the candle, not because the ingredients are off, all right? It's a cake. It is for sure a cake. Hey, Christopher, wanna see my, my um, failed but, but still positive experience of, of, of cake baking? Failed but positive. Okay. That's a cake. It's a cake. Yeah. Now don't touch the cake. This is very important. Okay. This is for decoration <laughs> only. But I did it and I definitely measured. You know what I ended up doing? I ended up using um, Julia's little teacups and I would just measure cups oh, yeah. and teaspoons. Sure. Yeah, it's just, it wasn't enough. <laughs> it made like this much and I'm like, <laughs> and I doubled it. <laughs> I felt like quadrupling it was too much. So I then went with my heart. My heart didn't lead me astray. So my heart, is right here. Would it be cheating to make like a normal cake batter and then just like take out a scoop of it and bake it? No, I mean like technically no. It's just that the whole point of these videos is to like measure out the little bits and oh, like whisking okay. right. it and yeah. like doing the yeah. whole thing. I feel like I accomplished that. No one said it had to be edible. <laughs> Isn't that the whole promise of the Easy Bake Oven? I Just have fun making it. It doesn't have to be edible. Except that it was so good. Well, Christopher, did you not have the brownie? Uh, it was the remember. best one. I think I was in Finland that day. You were probably in Finland that day. It was so good. I remember having that brownie and be like, this is the best thing I have ever had in my whole life. Maybe that's the next video I have to do. Maybe I have to buy an Easy Bake Oven. Like, can you still buy them? That's a good question. Let me know if you want to see that, because now I want to buy one and make stuff in it. My curiosity got the best of me. Felt like it was wrong to not taste test this. <sighs> so crunchy. You know what though? It just tastes overcooked. It still tastes cake-like. It's just, yeah. It was really hard to cook it because the top wasn't cooking, but the bottom was, you know what I mean? It does taste cake-like, so. Now we know. I can measure with my heart with baking. See, Christopher, I can measure with my heart with baking. I have always believed in you. 
Ooh, fun update. The paint is actually coming off the inside of the oven. So maybe don't, don't do this a lot. That can't be healthy. That's not great. Just, just a, just a note, just a heads up there. Very pretty though. Now, obviously I'm not filming this on my birthday, but if you're watching this on my birthday, you can go over to Instagram and see, see what we're up to. See what we're up to for Shark Week. If you don't know what Shark Week is, then you're missing out on Instagram content. There's just so much going on in there. I'm sure Christopher is making great drinks and we're just having a lot of fun playing ridiculous games. So go and check it out. Thank you again so much for 10 years, 10 years of fantastic baking and so many recipes, so many gadgets. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for being a continual source of joy and support in my life. Good luck to all those who are entering the contest. Thank you again. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys all next week.